Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Husker Softball announced today that they've extended head coach Rhonda Ravel's contract through 2026, a one-year extension on her already existing deal. We'll have softball play-by-play -play announcer Nate Rohr in Hour 2 to discuss Rhonda's extension, as well as some College World Series action, which is ongoing up in Omaha. Huskers Bowling also received good news today as incoming freshman Jillian Martin will represent the Junior Team USA this week at the 2022 International Bowling Federation U21 Championships. The event will be held from June 21st through the 29th in Helsingborg, Sweden. Martin is the youngest bowler ever to win a Professional Women's Bowling Association national event after winning the PWBA Bowl TV Classic last August at 17 years old. She'll make her Husker debut this fall. Elsewhere in the NCAA, the College World Series continues today in Omaha. And the earlier final was the Auburn upset of Stanford. Uh, six to two uh, was the final score there. Again, big upset there, knocked out Stanford from the College World Series. And just underway, Ole Miss is taking on Arkansas in pro sports this evening. Major League Baseball, just one final from earlier today, and it was the Mets blanking the Marlins, six to nothing. We're just about set to see the Cubs take on the Pirates, first pitch moments away in that one. At 6-10, the Yankees will battle the Rays. The Tigers take on the Red Sox. The Giants and Braves meet at 6-20. And then in the 7 o'clock hour, we'll see the Cardinals take on the Brewers. The Blue Jays battle the White Sox, and then later at 8:38, the Royals meet the Rangers, and at 8, or excuse me, the Royals meet the Angels, and at 8:40, the Diamondbacks will play the Padres. Game three of the Stanley Cup Finals heads to Tampa tonight as Colorado looks to put a chokehold on that series after handily beating the Lightning seven to nothing on Saturday. They lead the series now. Colorado does two to nothing. Puck drop between the Avalanche and Lightning is set for about 10 minutes after seven o'clock this evening. And that is your ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelps, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throwing pass, caught by Manning at the 10, eludes a bullet maker to the 5, one more Manning dives, touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! In motion is Brewington. They snap it back, fake the handoff, looking to throw. They flip it out in the flat to Brewington, makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, that looked easy that time. Brewington came in motion, and instead of cutting down the block, kept out in the flat. To each way, back to throws. Polenski now being rushed. Gets hit, goes down. And another sack, balls out. Balls out, and they still lose at the 10, and picked up by Northwestern at the 11-yard line. Gary Nelson, another sack for the Huskers. Clear back inside the 20-yard line. They'll mark the football to the 18. Third and goal at the one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to another week of Sports Alley here on the Huskers Radio Network. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had a chance to celebrate Father's Day yesterday. Take care of Dad and... You think about how important so many dads are in the sports world, teaching their young son or daughter the ins and outs of a game. They take them to ball games early on. They take them to practice sessions, whether they're involved in soccer or basketball or football or volleyball, whatever the case may be. So many dads get involved. So many dads coach their youngsters growing up and instill so much of that. And I think we all know just how important fathers are in, in young people's lives. And uh, for those of you that are fortunate enough to have a, a living father, uh, take it. I hope you took advantage of yesterday. And I hope if you are a father that uh, your, your uh, family took care of you yesterday uh, with a nice little maybe relaxing day. It, took you out to dinner or made dinner for you. So hope everybody had a good Father's Day weekend. Certainly was hot, wasn't it, over the weekend? I made it up to Omaha on Saturday, went to the afternoon game but, but on Saturday afternoon between Stanford and Arkansas. The Razorbacks absolutely blitzed the Cardinals on Saturday afternoon. The Cardinal an hour out. They got beat this afternoon by Auburn, so they are the second team to be sent home. Texas the first, and I know that, that, I'm sure that breaks a lot of hearts, right, of people around these parts, that the Longhorns were the first ones that were sent packing from Omaha as they went to and barbecue, and then Stanford followed that up today. First time in 18 trips for the Cardinal 
that they did not win at least one game in Omaha. That's pretty remarkable. I mean, that happens so often. Uh, a lot of teams, in fact, I think A&M was on a streak of four straight trips to Omaha, not winning a game. Stanford had gone their first 18 trips to Omaha. They at least had won one game until today. They had an early lead on Auburn this afternoon, up 2 nothing, but the Tigers come back and win it 6-2. to two. So the Cardinals bounced, Texas bounced yesterday. They're about ready to start tonight. This should be a good one. Ole Miss and Arkansas, two teams out of the SEC, two teams that quite honestly, were kind of disappointing during the regular season. Neither team was a top 16 national seed. Uh, Ole Miss at one point this season was ranked number one in the country, but had a horrible stretch in March and April where they just could not get anything done. Uh, but then it bounced back and had been a red-hot team uh, winning, winning regionals and super regionals. They swept uh, Southern Miss winning both games there to get to Omaha, and then they looked really good in their opening game. Terrific pitching performance by them on Saturday night. So they're about ready to first pitch in a winner's bracket game. The winner of this one will join Oklahoma as a 2-0 and start to the CWS. The Sooners have been very impressive throughout the run of the tournament and have gotten off to a really good start with back-to-back -back victories at um, up at Schwab Field, beating Notre, Notre Dame last night to get into that winner's bracket side. You're really in the catbird seat if you win your first two to get to the championship series. So Oklahoma on their side of the bracket in great shape. The winner of this one tonight will be in great shape. And I mentioned I was up there on Saturday, so I saw Arkansas. Arkansas's bats were red hot, and they have been the last couple of weeks. You go back to their regional in Stillwater where they put up all those runs in the Stillwater Regional against Oklahoma State. They also were a winner there against Missouri State. So they, they, they certainly have been a hot baseball team. So I, I kind of like Arkansas tonight. And I say that, and Ole Miss starts the game out with a base hit to right field. But uh, this should be good. We'll monitor this tonight. I think one of the themes in the first couple of days has been games that haven't been very close. I mean, there's not been any drama, late inning drama in any of these games. The Texas Notre Dame game was semi-close Friday night. The Irish had a big home run at the top of the night to open that up. So I guess that was probably our closest game to this point in time. I think that the two things that have been the themes, the scorching hot weather with heat indices in the triple digits for the last couple of days, not so much for the night games, but certainly for the day games, and then the lopsided scores has been kind of the early trends of that. So we'll keep our eye on that tonight. I, I'll be honest with you, I got a little tired of the Pig Suey chant that uh, Arkansas fans are known for. And they did it a lot because they scored 17 runs. So it was, it was a lot. It was a bit of a headache. And I got into a little bit of a dust up about Mojo Haggy. Um, and Mojo was Huskers down in that Fayetteville Regional last year. And the fans got all over Mojo Haggy, uh, claiming that the Husker outfielder flipped fans off. Mojo told me he didn't do it. But I had some Arkansas fans bring that up, got in my face about that over the weekend. So. Kind of, it kind of soured me a little bit on the Razorbacks, even though I know Dave Van Horn's their coach, and we owe an awful lot to Dave Van Horn here uh, at Nebraska for really launching our baseball success uh, some 25 years ago when he came to Lincoln to, to take over the program. But Arkansas will miss playing tonight up in the College World Series. Saw quite a few people that I knew at the ball game on Saturday, even some former Huskers walking around the concourses up there. So had a good time. It's always fun to go up there. It's a great atmosphere around there. We're so lucky to be able to have that here in the state of Nebraska to host that for all but I think three of the, I think it's the 75th anniversary of the CWS, 72 of them have been in Omaha. So, I mean, it's a really great tradition, and it's something really cool for our state, and I know we certainly uh, take a lot of pride in hosting that uh, each and every summer up in Omaha. So we'll keep our eye on that scoreboard coming your way tonight. It was a good weekend for football. They had a, their final Friday night lights camp. They then had the big pipeline camp on Saturday. Both went really well. They had uh, a boatload of official visits over the weekend. They had a lot of prospective student athletes on campus to uh, work out, try to impress the Husker coaches, a chance to see the facilities, tour the facilities, check out the Go Big project, which is outside of our window here, uh, see all that. Um, so, some, again, the momentum continues to go for this program in a positive direction. 
And it's really remarkable how much positive momentum there is. And again, I understand we haven't won a football game yet for 2022. That is still to come. But there's a good vibe. And I think these camps continue to do that. I think it's become pretty apparent that some of these new additions that Scott Frost has put on the staff have given some new energy, some new excitement level, highlighted by Coach Joseph. Coach Bush, also a guy that I think is a tremendous recruiter and doing some good things, getting Nebraska into some doors that they probably weren't before. I think Coach Applewhite is really kind of reopened an expressway down to the state of Texas, which for so many years was very fruitful for Husker football. So I just, I like the vibe. I like seeing all the names that were here over the weekend. And, and I think it's a, it's a really good, a really good time for Husker football. Again, I understand I'm not trying to get ahead of the, put the cart before the horse here, but you feel like there's a good vibe around this program as we move our way toward August 27th and that trip to Ireland to take on the Northwestern Wildcats. Uh, it'll be here before you know it. All right, we're going to talk to Matt Davison. We have not had Matt on the program for a couple of months, in fact. We had him on right after the spring game, but haven't had him on for about two months. Get his take on a lot of different topics. Uh, he's certainly been very instrumental in the Go Big project, in the design phase, in a lot of the fundraising phase. He was uh, taking the lead on that uh, for a good chunk of this. So we'll get Matt's take on that and his thoughts about uh, the momentum of the football program as well. One last thing before we, we hit our first break and, and talk to Matt is, you, you, you know, talk about the momentum in football and that you want to have it going in the right direction. And I, and I feel like it is. But also there's good momentum in Ronda Ravel's softball program. And Tim told you in the ticker that Nebraska Trev Alberts announced today that she has received a one-year contract extension that puts her through the 2026 season, which is four years out. So that if anybody she's recruiting right now, she can say, I'm your coach through 2026. And well-deserved for her. So happy. Rhonda is one of my favorite coaches on this staff, has been for a long time. She did a tremendous, she and her staff did a tremendous job this past year. You get over 40 wins in the ball bat sports, and you've had an amazing year. And they finish second in the regular season of the Big Ten. They go to East Lansing, and they win the Big Ten tournament, beating Michigan in the championship game. It's really, honestly, one of the highlights of the of the school year was what Husker softball did in the month of May. They got back into the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2016. That's a six-year hiatus. Um, that didn't go the way any of, any of us wanted it to go, but to get there was big. And now everybody in that program, and there's a lot of people that are back in that program next year, now they have experienced an NCAA tournament. And that experience is invaluable. Same thing with and that Amy Williams basketball team can say. They're back in there. You get that postseason experience. The next time you get in there, your nerves maybe aren't quite as revved up as they were this, this time, the first time that you get in there. So that was really big. So really happy to see that uh, in there as well for Coach Ravel. And uh, Nate Rohr is going to join us in hour number two. We'll get his thoughts about, about uh, that for the softball program, which, again, building off the momentum of postseason play, they get a Courtney Wallace to come back for one more year using her COVID year. They get a transfer from Southern Illinois who's going to help them in the circle. And then Coach Ravel gets her, her one-year contract extension uh, this year as well. Love to get people's thoughts about the College World Series. Who are you rooting for? We, we, we threw this question out there last week as well. There just really isn't a clear-cut team to kind of pull for. I wanted East Carolina, but doggone it, they couldn't quite kick the Longhorns to the curb. I didn't want Texas. I knew that going in. Uh, I kind of feel like uh, you're going to have a lot of people that are going to back uh, Arkansas because of Dave. I think you're probably going to have some people probably root for the Sooners. They haven't been here in 12 years. Um, but so I don't know. Uh, but again, I, there's probably a lot of people around here that don't want to see Oklahoma win this thing. But Ole Miss, maybe, maybe that'll be the, the team to pull for. And by the way, they have taken a one nothing lead on Arkansas in the first inning, so they've gotten a, a jump on that as well. In the chat room, they, they're saying no Oklahoma. So the, on our YouTube stream, they're saying no to Oklahoma. So that's what we have on the program tonight. If you want to be a part of it, you can fire off a text to us on our Sports Only hotline, 402-413-2400, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient 
convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance. Buy online at woodhouse.com. Jessica has a well-deserved week off. So you're stuck with me for the next four days. We're going to have some fun tonight. Matt Davison here in just a couple of minutes. I have not talked to him in a couple of months. Nate Rohr will be here. Nate's actually at these games in Omaha. He went to the afternoon game. He's at the night game. We'll pull him out of the stands and make him talk a little Husker softball with us coming up in hour number two. So fun, fun couple of hours headed your way tonight. We're certainly glad and honored that you uh, chose to spend a little bit of time with us here on a Monday night. When we come back, we'll talk to the color analyst of the Huskers Radio Network, Matt Davis, and that's coming up next. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, Tatiana Jones, and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. Hey Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another Encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from this past season of Nebraska Athletics. Joining us on next week's episode, Executive Associate Athletic Director Dr. Lawrence Shatters, Nebraska softball pitcher Courtney Wallace, ESPN writer Adam Rittenberg, Huskers men's gymnast Khalil Jackson, and Nebraska volleyball libero Lexi Rodriguez. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. Osceola Implement in Osceola, Nebraska, your locally owned Massey Ferguson dealer. Proud supporters of the Huskers and Nebraska farmers. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul. Not to mention their injury list. Cox. We're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com sports. 
from sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? Well, they're even longer term than your sister's piano recital at church that time you drank a whole big cup of soda right before you left home and insisted to your mom that you didn't have to use the bathroom. We're talking that long term. Hi, it's Boyd Minry from Dakota Mac. Give me a call at 402-463-4637 to learn all about our competitive rates on 30-year fixed rate loans. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. It's the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Joined now by the color analyst of the Huskers Radio Network, Matt Davis. And how are you? How's your summer? Good, man. It's great. Uh, it's been a good summer so far. Got in a little golf. June is a busy month for us, so I've been in the office a lot this month, but uh, worked in a little fun along the way. So, yeah, doing well. Did you have a good Father's Day? Had a great Father's Day. I, I requested, my daughter said, what do you want? And I said, I want you to make uh, lasagna and homemade ice cream. So, yeah. It Score. Was, it was a pretty big day for me. Mom, dad came over. Um, yeah, spent time with family and ate homemade lasagna and ice cream. So. What did Teddy contribute to the day? Teddy, uh, Teddy didn't really know it was Father's <laughs> Day, but he, <laughs> he, he just wanted to play the whole time. It was great. It was good to be home. It was so hot, man. It was almost hard to be outside, but we, uh, we had a great day as a family and uh, expecting a new one here pretty soon. So Yeah, it's, good uh, luck with all that. I'm yeah, sure it's going to go great. Weeks out. Um, it was so hot here, and I, and I know you watched some golf, and it was like 59 in Boston. They were like wearing sweaters yeah. and... I mean, when they, when they booked it, right, they had to think it was going to be in the 90s in Boston this time of year. And it, they had the, the cold spell, which kind of added to it. almost felt like a British Open to some, in some sense because of the layout of the course and the, the weather, the way the guys were dressed and everything. But ended up being a great golf tournament. I think Fitz, Fitzpatrick is a really good guy, it seems like, from everything I read and see. And as you know, I follow golf pretty close. So. Yeah. Uh, I was happy for him. He was close at the PGA and then brought it home, but it was a great tournament. What did you think of the course? I thought it was a great setup. I've never played it. I've played a little golf out there, but I've never played that one. They have 27 holes there, and they just kind of they grabbed the best 18 that they thought they should use. It wasn't even the same 18 that they used in 2013 for the U.S. Am. So it was a, a different setup, but uh, a lot of the same holes that Fitzpatrick won on in 2013. So. Uh, yeah, it, it looked great. A combination of short holes, long holes, some really, really good golf course, I thought. I loved it, and I, I kind of wonder why they hadn't had an open there since 88. Curtis Strange won the last time. That's a long time, because Marion seems to get it every five or six years. Pebble gets it every five. Why not that? That course, I think, ought to be I think the they made a, a good... Uh, a good argument for why they should have it there every six or eight or ten years and yeah. I think they will I think they'll start to get in the rotation it's a really good golf course good host host city uh, they love sports there the fans were awesome I think the players would say yeah let's go back there I think it was it was fair it was a good setup and they, they did get some rain on Saturday night which made it softer on Sunday so the scoring was better I think on Sunday than they even wanted it to be but still if six under wins a golf tournament that's kind of what the US Open is looking for and, and folks, I promise I'm going to get to some yeah, football. Yeah, I was going to say people listening but, are like, we didn't have him on to talk about golf. <laughs> no. You had Schefter won the the Masters, JT wins the PGA now. Fits golf's in pretty good hands, and I know they're they're worried because the Tiger era is almost over. He's pretty much probably done being on a lot of leaderboards, but there's so many good young players oh, right man. there. It, it's stacked. There's so many good players and. I mean, it's hard to even make the PGA Tour, and then you, you look at it, and every week you see guys on the leaderboards you've maybe never heard of. And college golf is unbelievable right now, and those guys are coming up. And a couple guys that were in the NCAA championship w made the cut at the U.S. Open, and they're going to be great pros. So, yeah, golf is in great shape. There's superstars. There's great personalities. Uh, and, and so I can't get enough of it. I, I probably watch too much golf, but it's... It's fun. Great sport to watch on TV. Yeah, sure is. Matt Davison with us here on Sports On. All right, we're looking out the windows. You can really see the form of the Go Big project and the building that's going to house 
Husker football and a lot of the sports on campus. You you happy with the progress of what you're seeing out here? Yeah. I mean, we, we had a really good winter, and Hausman Construction, their whole team has done a great job, you know, getting a lot done. The populist folks that, that have been working with us from the start, um, it's been a, a wonderful process for me to be involved in. And, you know, now we're making decisions on some of the, the finishes and, and some of the, the things that are going inside. The finishes have been done for a while, but, you know, all the AV stuff. And uh, it's going to be a wonderful building. It's going to be a transformational project for our athletic department and for our campus. And I'm just I'm excited we got it done. You know, the pandemic threw a little wrinkle into it, but we have we have the best fans in America and they stepped up. We've raised a lot of money for this project and it's going to leave the athletic department in really good shape financially and and we're going to have the best in my opinion kind of football compound in America. When you figure our indoor complex is connected to the football building which is connected to the stadium. Uh, not many places in the country have those adjacencies and have it right here on campus where the kids come here, they eat, work out, train, study, recover, all those things in this building and they're right on campus where they can walk to class and back and so it's been a great recruiting tool for us and and um, I'm just pumped about it I mean as you said when when you see it going up it kind of gives you an idea of how big it is over 300,000 square feet on three levels and um, it's a massive project and it's it's gonna really be great for our athletic department for a you, long time you mentioned best fans in America and you've traveled all over America to visit some of those fans who are invested in this thing even though they're not in Lincoln or in Nebraska right now it still means that much to them yeah no doubt I mean you know, we're gonna get this thing going and, and start winning a lot more games and that's gonna be you know it's just gonna ramp everybody up even more but you know the support of Husker Nation no matter what your record is or whatever there it's amazing and people are Husker fans through and through and and yeah we've traveled around uh, coach Frost and I Trev you know we went to Houston and Dallas and I've been all over the place this offseason and everybody I talk to is excited about what we have going here and the recruiting that's happened in the off season and the season we have upcoming a lot of people are going to Ireland to the first game and and uh, so yeah the Husker Nation is really excited and they should be I think we have a good football team and and um, I think we're going to start to turn things around you know you've got this going up you've got the transfer portal which has become so active in college sports and then you add NIL that we're about to hit the one year anniversary of that that's mixed a lot in for administrators, yeah. hasn't it? And for people to kind of manage and massage and learn what, what it's all about. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and, you know, people have to remember the Go Big project is for every sport. And so, yeah, football is kind of two-thirds of the building. But all student athletes will take advantage of the new academic center and, and training table. And so it's a great recruiting tool for all sports here. And NIL, obviously, in, in you know the major sports, has become a big thing, and it's a it's a big opportunity for student athletes. But having a great facility is still a, a, a you know I'm glad we got it done when we did because I don't know that you're going to see people building these sorts of things moving forward. We've kind of been in this era of 10 or 20 years now of who can build the biggest, best facilities, and that was a great recruiting tool. And NIL is maybe going to change that a little, but. Still having great facilities is, a, is a, a great asset for us to be able to get the best student athletes to come here. And um, so, so, you know, we have to remember that, that everybody's going to take advantage of this building. Um, what was your question about? Uh, Just how, oh, how much oh, moving things parts. have changed. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, I mean, and so you take that, but NIL, the transfer portal, all these things within 18 months or something has really changed everything. And, and um, you have to be nimble right now in college football you have to be willing to change uh, embrace the change whether you like it or not the transfer portal or nil or whatever it is you have to be willing to to be good at it whatever it is that that is thrown at us and i think we've done a good job with that um we've added great pieces this off season uh, to the team um nil is obviously something that's uh you know kind of crazy to talk about to think that we're even here but we are and and again, having passionate fans and a, a, a lot of people that support our student athletes has been great for a lot of our student athletes here and will continue to be. Well, when we wrapped up the spring game a couple months ago, I think we all knew the defensive line and up front defensively needed some help. And it looks like a lot of that's been addressed with some additions that, that Coach Frost and the defensive staff, Coach Janander, have been able to add in the last couple of months. Yeah, we're excited. You know, we lost a lot of great players, and that's not good. Um, but we added some really good players, too. And so I think 
we've uh, kind of restocked there on the defensive line. Coach Dawson is going to have some good players to work with all across the front. I think we have options on going big and small. And, and you know, this league, you play different teams. You play the big spread teams that, that you know, spread you out and throw it a lot. And then the, the pound game of some of the teams in the West that just line it up and you got to be a little bigger. And uh, so we have the personnel now, I think, to, to again, match those teams, whichever whoever were playing that Saturday. And uh, so, yeah, they've done a really good job, I think, addressing the needs of the team and putting a, a good roster together. We hammer on the NCAA a lot, uh, and rightfully so in a lot of cases. But one thing that they voted on a few months ago that I think is good is they're loosening up the, the assistant coaches can spend some more time and actual on-field time with their players in the offseason. It's very beneficial, isn't it? I mean, imagine if you could have spent a little time with Ron Brown out on the field, and maybe you didn't want to, out on the field during yeah. a July or June workout. Yeah. I mean, you need to spend as much time as you can with them for a lot of reasons, especially, you know, in our case where there are a number of transfers, guys that are new to the program, whether they came in January or in May or June. You know, just being around our coaches and being with the team is important. So as much time as you can spend with them, getting to know them, integrate them into the team, uh, into the coaches, understanding, uh, you know, how to communicate with people. And, and obviously when it comes down to X's and O's and those sorts of things, you want them to understand the system before you get to fall camp. Uh, so, yeah, the, they've done some good things to allow some of those things in the off season, and I think we're taking good advantage of it. And, and you know, our players, they want to be around each other. I think we have a good culture right now. I think the players love to be in the facility. Uh, they're working out on their own a lot, uh, getting extra time in, throwing, you know, seven on seven and whatever by themselves. And so I, I think they're fired up for the season. I think they, the guys that have been on the roster have really embraced the guys that are new to the roster in the last six or eight months and and brought them in and, and uh, welcomed them. And so, you know, I, I really feel good about the team right now and their attitude, the work ethic, um, the way they've come together in a short amount of time. And a lot of that goes back to leadership when you think about Garrett Nelson and Nick Henrich and, and Luke Reimer and, you know, guys that have been around, I'm missing a bunch, but you get it. Like, they're, the guys that have been in the program for a while have done a great job of leading this off season, And, and I think that's going to obviously pay dividends when we get to September and August. You've had a lot of camps the last two, three weeks. The last Friday night light camp, we had Vince Quinta on the program a few weeks ago. What's he meant coming back? He was here 15, 20 years, 15 yeah. years ago. He's now back. What's he meant to the program? Well, Vince has been great for the recruiting department. And, and um, you know, there's just been a lot of changes this off season um, in Coach Frost's entire football office, really, and, and include the locker room. I mean, yeah, we lost a lot of players. We brought in a lot of new faces on the football team. And then, obviously, there was changes in the coaching staff with half the staff uh, being replaced. And, and then the recruiting department was really kind of overturned and added to. And, and the creative department has had some additions there, too. And so there's been a lot of changes within the you know support staff of 35 or so that are around Coach Frost. A lot of new faces and uh, a lot of new ideas people that have been at big places before and brought those ideas here. Vince is one of those guys. And so, and so I, I just feel like the staff right now is in a great spot. I think everybody's working really well together. Everybody's excited. I think we feel like, you know, the record last year wasn't anything that anybody wanted. At the same time, a lot of the year we played pretty good football and we have good players on our team. And so I think because of that, you know, the, there's good momentum right now in the program and, and uh, positive feelings in the, in the coaches' offices and in the locker room, and, and everybody's ready and, and can't wait to get to fall camp. I know you've been to Europe a few times. Have you been to Ireland? I've not been to Ireland. I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I, as I said earlier, there's so many fans that I know are going, a lot of friends and, and people that are heading over there. And, and so, you know, we're going we're gonna to have a little bit of fun there with the team. They're going to get to see a few things, but mostly it's about winning the football game. And that's, it's kind of a business trip. That's a cliche, but it, it is. I mean, ultimately, you want to win. And, and we're going to do some things and let everybody see Ireland. And I'm excited that, that we're going over there to give those guys that experience. And it's going to be a different stadium and a different feel. Um, I know we're going to have more fans there, so that'll be kind of fun. And uh, kind of a small stadium, but it'll be it'll be really a cool experience for everybody. It's not a bowl game; it's a 
game during the season. That's, That's a right. big difference. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not in a, a conference game. I mean, a lot of things right on that first game, and it's, it's just one of 12, but it, obviously you want to get off to a good start in the season, and it's a, a conference game on your half, so you know, you're counting to, you know, those wins to try to get to the Big Ten title game. So, yeah, it's a big game, and we're going to treat it as such and, and have a little bit of fun, but at the same time focus on Saturday, whatever, evening over there, uh, Saturday midday here, uh, kickoff. We, we're going to have Jay Terry on later in the week. The, the planning to put this thing together, pretty massive to take an entire football team across the pond. It's crazy. I mean, uh, look, we've had a lot of people put a lot of work into this. It's been delayed a year. Um, yeah. We've, I don't know how many different groups we've sent over there different times to try to make sure everything's in order, the hotel, um, food, um, workouts, how are you going to lift weights over there, where are we going to practice, um, all the social events that you try to do with the team to show them the city, um, yet still get them adjusted to the time change, get them ready to play. That's the ultimate goal. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts, and a lot of people go. It's not like a normal road trip where we take – the essentials and who needs to go. There's a lot of people that are going that I'm glad they're going, right? But it's a bigger travel party than a normal game. <laughs> and so, you know, moving a lot of people around and, and uh, so it, it's going to be a fun experience, like I said, but a lot of people put a lot of work into making sure that it's going to be smooth. Last thing for you, a couple weeks ago it came out that Frank Solich is now on the ballot to make the College Football Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. He should be there, right? Yes, he should be in the Hall of Fame. He's, he's a legend. Um, here he's uh, a legend uh, every place he's been that he, he's either coached in high school college here uh, ohio like he's transformed a lot of people's lives and he's he's won a lot of games but more than that he's been a great mentor and example for all the players that he's coached over decades and decades and i'm happy for him i hope he gets in um i hope he's back to a few games here i hope he knows he's always welcome and that uh you know, he coached me for three years here, and I think the world of him. And, and uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for him. Hopefully he gets in, and he deserves it. Very good. Good to see you. You too, pal. Enjoy the next couple weeks because it's go time after that. It is. It is. It's going to be fun. And uh, excited for the first game in Ireland and then excited to come home and have, I think, four in a row back here. Love so it. So that's good. Love yep. it. Matt Davison with us Thanks. here on Sports Audio. Buckle up. Put that phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. More of the show coming up next. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Hey Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from this past season of Nebraska Athletics. Joining us on next week's episode, Executive Associate Athletic Director Dr. Lawrence Chatters, Nebraska softball pitcher Courtney Wallace, ESPN writer Adam Rittenberg, Huskers men's gymnast Khalil Jackson, and Nebraska volleyball libero Lexi Rodriguez. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Preparation, it's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker pride, powered locally. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. 
That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Huskers, do you want a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding? Explore the many ways you can be a part of the insurance community. Go to IIAN.org slash careers today. Business insurance is a lot to manage. Did you know a trusted choice independent insurance agent can help guide you through it at no extra cost to you? They'll do your insurance. You just do you. Find out more at TrustedChoice.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Huskers fans. This Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from this past season of Nebraska Athletics. Joining us on next week's episode, Executive Associate Athletic Director Dr. Lawrence Shatters, Nebraska softball pitcher Courtney Wallace, ESPN writer Adam Rittenberg, Huskers men's gymnast Khalil Jackson, and Nebraska volleyball libero Lexi Rodriguez. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Husker fans, get ready to be part of the excitement of the 2022-23 Nebraska women's basketball season by joining the season ticket waitlist today. The Huskers return all five starters from a team that won 24 games and advanced to the 2022 NCAA tournament. Make the first choice on the best seats to watch the Huskers in person at Pinnacle Bank Arena this year. Join the waitlist by July 31st at huskers.com slash request list. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. Nothing goes better with Husker sports than Fairberry. Fairberry, premium quality hot dogs deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. The highest quality beef, pork, and natural spices give you the best tasting hot dog and your hometown favorite Big Red Hot Dog. Look for Fairberry hot dogs all year long at your local grocery store. Fairberry, the official hot dog of the Huskers and Nebraska fans everywhere. At Great Western Bank, they understand what commitment to community means. It's more than setting up shop. For Great Western Bank, commitment means growing together and serving their communities. With more than 50 locations in Nebraska, they are dedicated to making life great. Thank you, Lincoln, for allowing them to be a part of this great community. Great Western Bank, member FDIC. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. Back at Tyler Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres. They're the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp back with you here on a Monday night. Thanks again to Matt Davison for spending some time with us. We covered a lot of topics in there. He, you know, Matt was so instrumental in really getting the Go Big project off the ground. He did a good chunk of the fundraising for that in a lot of the duties that he's doing right now for Husker Athletics. I know he's really proud of it and should be really proud of this thing. It's going to be open in a year. It's taken so much shape here this summer. Uh, it's going to be a spectacular facility. Yes, for Husker football, but for a lot of the different sports, they're going to be able to take advantage of that. And all of the sports are now recruiting to it because they can bring recruits by show them the pictures, show them what is up, and say this is going to be where you're going to spend a lot of your time when you're on campus here in the next couple of years. So 
He's very proud of it and should be. We're 60, if my math is right, and I, I could be wrong, I think we're 68 days from kickoff. 68 days. Goodness gracious. Going fast. You get past, we're fast approaching the 4th of July holiday. You get past that, it is going to be a race to uh, Dublin on the 27th of August. Then the home opener will be the next week with North Dakota coming in here to face the Huskers. We have time to tell you that you have a chance to customize a Husker football three-game mini plan on sale now for $180 for a ticket. You know, what they've done is they've looped three games, three months of the football season, September, October, November. You pick a game from each month, and in September, your choices are North Dakota, Georgia Southern. Sorry, but the Oklahoma game is not a choice. There's been so many single-game tickets bought for that, and Oklahoma used their entire visitor allotment there, so we just don't have enough tickets to do that. But North Dakota or Georgia Southern, so either the home opener or the second game of the year with Georgia Southern, in October, you pick either Indiana or Illinois, so a couple of conference games to pick from. And then in November, another batch of conference games, either Wisconsin or Minnesota. You pick a game from each month, three games. Seating will be located in the end zones, north or south end zone. You put it together yourself. You're going to pick your seats. Go visit Oscars.com slash tickets to do this. The response has been pretty impressive for this thing. Uh, it's going to last for about well, until the end of the month, and then that won't be available to you anymore. So this is perfect for people who don't want to commit to seven Saturday home games for the season or don't have the financial where for all. Hey, I understand that market's tight right now, right? Everybody's 401k plans are dropping like the temperature around here in January. It's like a runs a temperature Tuesday right now with that stock market right now. So I know it's tight out there. So this will be a great way for you to do that. If you uh, want to put together, want to support Husker football, come to some Husker football games. This is a great way to do that. Again, it's a Husker football three-game mini plan on sale now. Huskers.com slash tickets. You get on there, you put your own plan together. Update from Omaha. Ole Miss scored two in the first. Arkansas came back with one of their own. It's a 2-1 Ole Miss lead. They're batting in the top of the second inning. This is a winner's bracket game. Both of these teams won their opener. And so uh, you win this, you've got a great chance to get yourself into the championship series for the weekend. Oklahoma is already 2-0 and on their start. Somebody tonight is going to join them. The loser of this game will come back and play um, another game on Tuesday to uh, try to stay alive in the College World Series. Text lines are open. If you want to shoot off text, 402-413-2400. You need to step aside and get a break. We're also up on our YouTube channel. If you want to get in that chat room, those folks are having a good time in there tonight. You can converse with some other Husker fans in that chat room as well. Back to wrap of Hour 1 next. Huskers fans, it's time to plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Single game tickets are on sale now at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. Start the 2022 season in the best way. Plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Buy your single game ticket today at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. 
Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Get us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. Nebraska A11 says go dig red before you dig always. Call or click A11 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. And Dama Kinsu is in the news, both on a story on CBSSports.com. Also, he's on SportsCenter tonight. He's looking for somewhere to play. Here we are, late June. He does not have a team right now. He's a free agent. He's not sure. He says it's not going to be with Tampa, which is where he's been since 2019. He signed three consecutive one-year deals with the Bucks, and then got a Super Bowl ring when they won the Super Bowl two years ago. Indomitian is now 35 years old. Doesn't that seem crazy that Indomitian sues up to 35 years old? Uh, he had signed deals worth 9.25 million, 8 million, and 9 million in the last three years with the Bucks. How about this? He's played. He got drafted by the Lions, played a long time with the Lions, signed a monster deal with the Dolphins. I mean, it was a monster deal. I think it was over $100 million that he signed with the Dolphins. Then played a year with the Rams, played out there with Aaron Donald. Can you imagine trying to block those two dudes on the same line? That's crazy to think about that. Uh, he's had an amazing career. He Go back, he was the number two pick in that 2010 draft in the NFL. Three-time first-team All-Pro, five-time Pro Bowler. Uh, he's just had an amazing NFL career, and, he, and he's got a ring. I mean, that's part of it, right? When you evaluate guys' resumes, did they win it all? Well, he did with Tampa, helped out by Tom Brady, but says he doesn't. He says he's almost he – the door's basically closed at the Bucks. Not going to sign there, but he thinks he can play at least one more year in the NFL. But here we sit, June 20th. He didn't have a team to play for right now, but uh, I wouldn't give up hope. I would, and Dominic, I think, still got some more time to play in the National Football League. And, uh, again, 2010, 12 years ago? Man, where did that time go? Crazy that that is uh, gone out of here. Ole Miss is added to their lead up in Omaha. And they're up 4-1, to two-run home run. that just got up at a bullpen gate, according to ESPN's graphics. Not really. It cleared the bullpen. Got almost out of the grandstand, but uh, they said something like 324. Went way beyond that. So Ole Miss has a 4-1 lead as Arkansas comes to bat in the bottom of the second inning. Our Sports Alley Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. One hour in the books. Thanks to Matt Davison for spending some time with us here tonight. Coming up next hour, we're going to go to Omaha. That's where Nate Rohr is. Talk about the CWS. We'll also talk about Ron Ravel getting a one-year contract extension. Get his thoughts about that. A lot of topics to talk with Nate about. That's coming up in hour number two. Don't go away. Come on back. Have some fun with us in the second hour of Sports Nightly here on a Monday night. up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com.
Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. With game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots. And we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go is mealtime made easy. Just order delicious meals online for convenient curbside pickup or have it delivered. Want breakfast? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Need lunch? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Doing dinner? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Get pancakes, burgers, fried chicken, lasagna, high chai Asian dishes, sushi, pizza, and more. If you're craving it, Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go has it with curbside pickup or delivery. Order today at hyvee.com slash mealtime.
Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Huskers softball announced today that they have extended head coach Ronda Ravel's contract through 2026, and that is a one-year extension. We'll have, in a few minutes, Nate Rohr, softball play-by-play -play for the Huskers Radio Network, on to talk about Ronda softball and a lot more going on up in Omaha with the College World Series. Huskers bowling also received good news this morning as incoming freshman Jillian Martin will represent the junior team USA this week at the 2022 International Bowling Federation U21 Championships. The event will be held from June 21st through the 29th in Helsingborg, Sweden. Martin is the youngest bowler ever to win a Professional Women's Bowling Association national event after winning the PWBA Bolt TV Classic last August at 17 years old. She'll make her Husker debut this fall. Elsewhere in the NCAA, the College World Series continues today in Omaha. Earlier in upset, Auburn knocked out Stanford 6-2. And then right now in the second inning, it is a good one. You heard right before we went to break, it was 4-1 to one Ole Miss. It's now 4-3 to three Ole Miss as Arkansas is clawing their way back with some small ball in the bottom of the second. It's actually heading into the third inning now. Again, 4-3 Ole Miss currently has the one-run lead over Arkansas. Over to pro sports and Major League Baseball this evening. The Yankees currently lead the Rays 1-0 midway through the fourth. The Pirates are up 3-0 on the Cubs. That one's in the top of the third. Bottom of the third, it's the Red Sox leading the Tigers 2-1. The Braves currently hold a 1-0 lead over the Giants. That one in the third. One final from earlier today. The Mets beat the Marlins, shut them out 6-0. And then later tonight, we'll see in just about five minutes' time, Cardinals will take on the Brewers. Also in about five minutes, we'll see the Blue Jays get underway against the White Sox. Later tonight at 8.38, Royals will take on the Angels. And at 8 40, the Diamondbacks will battle the Padres. Also just about set to get underway. Game three of the NHL Stanley Cup Finals is in Tampa tonight as the Lightning look to claw their way back. They got absolutely blown out in game two and lost game one, so they need to get out of a 2-0 series hole. And it looks somewhat uh, of a beat-up team on both sides of the ice tonight as star centerman uh, for the Lightning, Braden Point, is out. He will not play tonight. Star centerman for the Colorado Avalanche, uh, Nazem Kadri will not play for Colorado. Neither will uh, Andre Burakovsky, who's been red hot for the Avalanche. So we'll see if those injuries and the change of venue uh, out of the Denver altitude out there down to South Florida and Tampa, see if that helps the Lightning's case tonight. That game, again, about to start in about five minutes' time. In the NBA, Brooklyn Nets star point guard Kyrie Irving is at an impasse with his team, the Brooklyn Nets in contract negotiations, leaving open the possibility that Irving could hit the open market. Teams that are reportedly interested include the New York Knicks and the L.A. Lakers. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throwing pass, caught by Manning at the 10. Alludes a bottom maker to the 5. One more Manning dives, touchdown, Nebraska. Yes! In motion is Brewington. They snap it back, fake the handoff, looking to throw. They flip it out the flat to Brewington, makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, that looked easy that time. Brewington came in motion, and instead of cutting down the block, kept out the flat. To each way, back to throws. Polensky now being rushed. Gets hit, goes down. Another shot, balls out. Balls out, and they still lose at the 10, and picked up by Northwestern at the 11-yard line. Gary Nelson, another sack for the Huskers. Clear back inside the 20-yard line. They'll mark the football to the 18. Third and goal at the one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Thanks and welcome to hour number two of our Monday Night Show. Jessica has the week off. You're stuck with me for the next couple of days. We're going to have some fun. We uh, had Matt Davison on in hour number one. Nate Rohr is going to join us from the College World Series. He's up there watching the action today. Took in the afternoon game that saw Auburn bounce Stanford from the tournament. And he's there tonight watching a pretty good one going on between Ole Miss and Arkansas. 4-3 Rebels. Hotty toddy after two innings. So that game up there. So we'll talk to Nate here in just a couple of minutes. Tim just gave you the ticker. What he didn't tell you is that he took time out of the weekend to watch Die Hard. 
So now you <laughs> have seen the movie Die Hard. <laughs> What'd you think? I really liked it. Um, that's one of those movies that everybody's seen that I hadn't seen yet. Um, for really no reason, but uh, I know way back, it was a couple months ago, we were debating if that was a Christmas movie. Yeah. And so where do you come down? I, I think it is. I think the ho-ho-ho part, for those that have seen it, um, that sealed it for me. I think that's okay. that's, that's festive. <laughs> I'll okay. be in a very different So way. now you got to go see Die Hard 2, and yep. I think there's a third one yep. even in there. So go now you go see the whole trilogy. Yep. No, I, I was actually very impressed. I'm not, action's not my first genre. I like it, but I, I it's not usually what I go to first, and I thought that was one of the better action yeah. movies I've seen. No, it's really good. Yeah. It's a classic movie, even yeah. though it's, God, it's probably 25 years old now. Yep. Yeah, I think so. It was uh, late 90s. It's about but the same it, age as my brother. But so. it still <laughs> held your attention. Yep. Yep. Oh, it was great. I, I was surprised at how, uh, you know, all, a lot of action movies, and I mean, they, they, there's really no thought to the, the detail. It's all about the explosions and right. the shooting and that back and forth. And there's actually like uh, some realism, not, not saying it's perfect. I mean, there's some unrealistic parts there, but I was, I was and I don't ever expect that. But uh, yeah, I, I thought it was good. And of course, the acting was good. I love Alan Rickman. Uh, yeah, he's a good villain. Yes, exactly. Really good villain. He, he was born to play that uh -huh. super villain type role. So Hans. Um, uh, he was great. And I knew him from when I was a kid, Harry Potter movies and stuff. And you can see the, the, the menace in him. <laughs> uh, you know, he's a great actor. So I love when, uh, when he's in one of those movies. Yippee ki <laughs> um, All right, game three about ready. The puck's about to drop. You and I had both pre pre cup yeah. picked Tampa to win, yep. although I was saying I'm openly rooting for Colorado. Yep. I've been pleasantly surprised. They have really outskated them. Yeah, oh, my God. Um, I, I think I'm the kiss of death for these teams. Every time I try to preview a, a round, I pick the team that loses inevitably. But um, I think, uh, no, that, that Saturday game, I watched that pretty much start to finish, and that was one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen and and to I think it was the second biggest blowout in a shutout win in uh, NHL Stanley Cup final history so um, that just gives you an idea and again we talked about it last week you know Tampa's one of the best defensive teams they had the best goalie in the world and they you would never know that watching what Colorado's been able to do to them and um, Colorado like we just talked about in the ticker down two of their better forwards tonight so Tampa should have a chance they're missing some pieces too but um, yeah, oh my God, uh, the Avalanche is an appropriate name because they were, that's how it looked. Yeah, it just wave after wave, they were taking apart Tampa. I think the champs rebound tonight and get a win. I, I think their pride will come yes. up and they'll win tonight. And their, their backs are against the wall. They're, they're among the best in the, you know, to do it uh, when it comes, comes to those circumstances. If they're, if they're feeling like the series is on the line, they are really, really hard to beat. Um, and if they go down 3-0, I, I just can't see a way that they can come back. But I think uh, Vasilevsky in particular, I'll be watching him tonight because he uh this is so uncharacteristic and that was saturday he was the most goals he's ever allowed in the playoffs and he's got a ton of playoff experience so um i think he bounces back hopefully it's a good good game yeah. tonight buckle up put the phone down a reminder from the ndot highway safety office i got a text uh late last week from an anonymous texter said make sure you give andrew trouble on monday's show for picking the wrong team in the NBA Finals. <laughs> we sure that was an anonymous text? Well, I don't Not, think it's uh, anonymous. Jeremiah or Jessica or... <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, uh, Andrew and I have both been, uh, I think, whatever well, we wait. pick... Well, wait, there's a part two to this thing. It says, and, and my pick was right. Okay, that is okay, Jessica. So I think yeah. it is Jessica. It's I Jessica, think Jessica's so. got a burner phone. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty... I mean, I thought the Celtics... Mm. And Andrew can jump in if he wants. Yeah, if he wants to slide in, you got to defend your... I, I thought the Celtics kind of played lifeless yeah, in um, game six. That, at home, didn't that was, you? That was my impression. I flipped the game on, and, you know, I, I had missed some of the first half, so I come in in the second half, and, and, you know, I had seen it on Twitter, too. But when I was watching, it just seemed like they, other than Al Horford, I mean, yeah. everybody else seemed to just be resigned to, yeah, this is it, we're done. So I, I, that was my takeaway, in my opinion. I thought Jason had too much pressure on himself, yeah. and I think he just didn't want to, like, with, with having all that pressure on your yeah. back, it's just you, yeah. you, you don't want to play as well, yeah. and you kind of want to fall back, and you kind of want to linger and kind of put more pressure on the, the Superstar. Al. Mm -hmm. He has more experience. He hasn't has any finals experience, but he has great experience, so maybe trying to just put him on that, maybe try to get Jalen Brown a little bit more mm -hmm. touches, so... And I, I just was stunned by, you know, when we talked about it over the course of that series, the offense versus defense and defense wins championships, and the Celtics just looked like that team. And 
I mean, the Warriors were, were that team. And you, we, we were talking about it earlier. Clay Thompson didn't even really have much of an effect in that series and didn't matter. It didn't matter. But I said Thursday, mm -hmm. what scared me for the Celtics was that Steph didn't shoot well in game five. He did in game and six. You were right. And you were right. Yep. Man. And you were like, well, maybe they figured out how to defend him. No, you can't defend that guy. He's one of the greatest shooters of all time. Second, but no, for sure. <laughs> Second behind who? Ray Allen. I think Ray Allen, considerably, mm. if I'm talking about just shooter-wise, I think if I put money on the line, Steph Curry in one corner and Ray Allen in one corner. You think Ray wins? I think Ray will win. Yeah, I'll I, never yeah, forget. Just, I think more of, of an actual player with good characteristics, more ball movement, I'm definitely going to go well, with Curry. Well, we're stacking finals, too. You talk about when Ray Allen brought the Miami Heat back Thank from you. the dead. I mean, that was hilarious. Save, the Heat fans wrong. all left the building against he, uh, he was it, the Spurs. Yes. Yeah. Uh, was it the Spurs yes. that series? Yeah. And, it, and, and everyone left the building. Security wasn't letting them back in because he, he saved the day, and they, they won that in, was it seven? Was yep. that, he forced a game seven, yep. and they won it. Yep. So <laughs> it's impressive. Those are, I mean, that's yeah. a debate I, I hear all the time. And, you know, to have another guy in Clay again, who didn't do a lot in this series, and on that same team, it's no wonder that they, they took down four championships. With, and, you know, people always bring up the KD argument, but here you go. I mean, Warriors did it anyway without him, so. Now it's draft week. Here we go. Thursday night. Big night for Bryce, right? I'm excited. I'm excited. We're going to see where he gets to. It's been going a little bit later, second round. Yeah, I think he Maybe slipped. early. Yeah. But, but he's going to get picked. Yeah, I mean, I think he's still shown himself and he's proved himself that he can, maybe he didn't get that invite to the green screen room, but this is a young kid who's ready to thrive and ready to stand out. And, I mean, I think this is his time to shine, and I think this is going to be ready for him. Well, I'm sorry. On that text, I thought it was anonymous. It now It's popped in clearly now. It is it's Jessica. <laughs> Aren't you glad she's not here? Yes. No, I'm actually <laughs> glad she's having her time back with her family, but I'm so glad that Jessica is not here because she would give me such a hard time. Andrew! And I, know I can just hear, Andrew, I'm <laughs> trying. Waiting for her to call in tonight. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was ready we were, for we were, we were prepared. <laughs> Hi, boys. Great work. Good stuff. Anybody score yet in a hockey match if they drop the I puck? Think just a, you oh, you got to keep in mind, yet. NHL is always at least 10 minutes after their start time, yeah. no matter what. In the playoffs, the puck at cool. least 10 minutes behind what it says. So. All right. Well done. <laughs> we'll keep this thing rolling here. Our Sports Only Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse First 18 Brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. Com. Old Miss is added to their lead as, man, nobody can stop anybody tonight in Omaha. And then they're doubled down into the corner. Now it's a 6-3 Old Miss lead. They get the two runs right back. Two on and a double, or actually I think a triple into the corner at TD Ameritrade. That's the one thing I've always been puzzled by. Yes, TD Ameritrade's a big ballpark. And yes, most of the time in June, the wind is blowing in. It has been here. But I always wondered, why weren't there more doubles and triples in that ballpark because it is such a big outfit you can't cover the whole thing the big the gaps are big i've always wondered why there weren't more doubles and triples we're seeing it all in this cws a lot of offense and the rebels now up six three in the top of the third inning of that game all right that's a good point for us to take a break because when we come back we'll pull nate roar out of schwab field he's up there watching these games and we'll get his take about that about Ron ravel getting a contract extension a lot to talk with with Nate, we'll do that coming up next. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's Corn and Soybean Farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Hey Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another Encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from this past season of Nebraska Athletics. 
Joining us on next week's episode, Executive Associate Athletic Director, Dr. Lawrence Shatters, Nebraska softball pitcher, Courtney Wallace, ESPN writer, Adam Rittenberg, Huskers men's gymnast, Khalil Jackson, and Nebraska volleyball libero, Lexi Rodriguez. Tune in to your local affiliate or at huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Hey Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another Encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from this past season of Nebraska Athletics. Joining us on next week's episode, Executive Associate Athletic Director, Dr. Lawrence Chatters, Nebraska softball pitcher, Courtney Wallace, ESPN writer, Adam Rittenberg, Huskers men's gymnast, Khalil Jackson, and Nebraska volleyball libero, Lexi Rodriguez. Tune in to your local affiliate or at huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. The Huskers provide the best on the field, and so does Kubota. The new Kubota L60 Limited Edition Series provides the best package for affordability, quality, and comfort, like the deluxe Grand L factory-installed cab or spacious open operator station. Maximize performance with Kubota's best-in-class HST Plus transmission and many other features of the L60 LE Series. Experience the Kubota difference. Visit NebraskaKubotaDealers.com or see Kubota Omaha in Omaha or Osceola Implement and Supply in Osceola. There's nothing better than the smoky aroma of grilled beef at the ballpark. This is Anne Marie with the Nebraska Beef Council reminding you to pick up a package of steaks or burgers for your next tailgate party. Whether you're setting up in the parking lot or cheering from home, nutritious beef is a home run choice when cheering on the Huskers. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for delicious beef recipes, grilling tips, and tailgate inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. As we told you in our tickers, big news of the day around here was that Ronda Ravel, Husker softball coach, getting a one-year extension to her contract, takes it out through 2026, and no better person to talk about all that than our own Nate Rohr, who calls Husker softball here on the Huskers Radio Network who is, uh, we're pulling him outside of a game. He's up in Omaha watching uh, on a winner's bracket game, but on Arkansas and Ole Miss after taking in the afternoon game. Probably a little toasty for that afternoon one, wasn't it? Yes, it was, Greg. I, uh, I had bought a bleacher ticket, and I was supposed to be sitting out in the outfield for that one. Uh, my little trick is that I uh, stand toward the top of the, of the box seats and stand under the overhang to withstand, you know, the heat and 
it's a little more hospitable and you end up getting a little better view. Well, I did that for about four innings and I figured, well, I better go to my seat and rest my legs a little bit. And I sat down and I felt my backside singe. <laughs> like, I, I, I felt like so many, you know, ribs and, and uh, pork roasts and hamburgers that got grilled yesterday for Father's Day. And so I stuck it out for about an inning and then I roasted and I decided, ah, let's go back in the shade. So uh, I, I was a bleacherite for only one inning, but to take it in and I'll tell you what, I was glad to see a competitive game. Those have been few and far between here in the series. It's uh, even with all this offense, you know, that's been the good news is that it's felt like the action's a little more balanced, but it's just led to a lot of blowouts. Sure has. Auburn took out Stanford earlier today, so the Pac-12 representative is gone. Um, I know that, and I think Dirk Chatlin about, wrote about this, Nate, last week in the Omaha World Herald, and, and you've attended so many CWSs in your lifetime. You, are you concerned at all that this could turn into an SEC tournament year after year where it's a, a, just a tournament dominated by schools from that conference? It, it's certainly a bit of a worry, and I think it, the, the gauntlet needs to be thrown down toward the Big Ten to say, look, we need to support baseball to put up a fight here. Uh, I know fe things feel a little acute from the standpoint that, uh, you know, Texas is a frequent participant here. Oklahoma doesn't often make it here, but they've made the run to Omaha this year. But it feels like that program is trending in the right direction. And, and as you look at the Pac-12, it's a similar problem to what's happened in softball from the standpoint that the Pac-12 just doesn't have the money to support the sport uh, of baseball or the sport of softball in terms of what they pay coaches, in terms of the facilities that they build. You also worry in the brave new era of NIL, you know, a kid uh, who's a great baseball or softball player for LSU or Mississippi State is going to do a ton better than he would ever do at Stanford or UCLA. So a kid whose economic situation might be marginal uh, might look at the SEC as a better opportunity. So there is some concern about that. Um, I, I just hope that the Big Ten and to a lesser extent the ACC uh, look at it as a challenge, look at it as something they can tackle. Uh, the ACC is probably best equipped uh, to be competitive and to put up a fight against our southeastern overlords because they have basically the same weather footprint. They've got a great baseball tradition. But I hope the Big Ten doesn't just surrender it either. So uh, it, it's a challenge moving forward, to say the least, because I know in softball you always fight the perception that if you are an elite player, you go down to the SEC. And I know that's the case in baseball as well. Yeah, with four of the eight being SEC in Texas, Oklahoma, about to be SEC, that's really six of the eight this year. And I always got, thought it was pretty cool when you'd see Long Beach State or Cal State Fullerton mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, one of those California, or UC Irvine. Fresno State came and won the thing a couple of years back. But, you know, you're right. They don't have that football money coming in to support that. But where's the Pac-12 schools? Where's USC been? It's been decades. They, they went through that big run in the 70s where they dominated the sport. We haven't seen the Trojans in Omaha. And, you know, well, Bobby wasn't born the last time the Trojans came through here. Well, I think I was still in middle school. I, I'm trying to remember because SC made it here, I want to say, in 2001, uh, Nebraska's first trip uh, under Mike Gillespie. Uh, and, of course, Mike Gillespie went on. You mentioned that UC Irvine team yep. that made it here, and he brought that team here. But SC just has not been able to find a baseball coach. Uh, UCLA, at least in the early part of the TD Ameritrade Park era was able to come here and win the men's series a couple of times, but uh, they've not had the similar luck. And then, you know, Stanford's finding their legs back and, and Dave Esker's starting to get that program going back in the right direction. So I, I think it's just a combination of factors from lackluster facilities, better opportunities in the southeast. Uh, there has been a, a big amount of coaching change as far as Stanford, as far as USC. 
and, and it's all just kind of conspired to keep the Pac-12 out of this event and, and irrelevant, really, in college baseball. And it, it was nice that Stanford made it, and I hope it's a step in the right direction because it feels like if UCLA and USC aren't going to get it done in the Pac-12 in baseball, then Stanford's kind of your next likely candidate, although I guess the Arizonas should be in play and haven't really done a lot. But uh, it, it was good to see Stanford back here, but now they need to have the horses to actually do something here as opposed to go to and queue as they did. Yeah, no doubt. They're on their way to the airport now, probably headed back to, uh, to Palo Alto. Nate Rohr with us just outside of the ballpark up in Omaha. He's uh, taking in the doubleheader today. I wanted to get you on after the announcement earlier today from Trev Alberts that he has extended Ronda Ravel's contract by one year, so it pushes it out four years. Uh, your thoughts when you heard this today? I thought it was another acknowledgement of a great year, a great coaching job by Ronda Ravel and her staff. And really, uh, you know, she's had more talented teams. But I would argue this might have been her best coaching job as far as getting maximum production, maximum effort. Uh, and, and when I say her best coaching job, I also mean the best coaching job uh, by her staff. But getting the most out of the talent that they had and so the fact that Trev Alberts has given Rhonda another year, I think it's just an acknowledgement of how good a coaching job Rhonda Ravel did with this team and also the feeling that things are trending in the right direction. It, even the 2021 season, which was a conference-only season, Nebraska was right at 500. And, and so things were starting to go in the right direction, but this was just a real shift straight up to where you know, you look at how things set up next year. Yes, Northwestern brings back plenty. Michigan is always good. But you can think about the Huskers being a real relevant force in the Big Ten softball championship race and hopefully for some high seeding in the NCAA tournament and, and maybe a factor to get through the regional round. Well, it's been a... a, a Almost, almost a weekly bit of good news for the program. I'm going to go back just a couple of weeks ago. Courtney Wallace was honored with the first ever gold glove handed out to a collegiate pitcher. They gold glove has not done that in softball in the past. It's their first year, and Courtney got one of the nine gloves. What a great honor for her, and, and certainly well deserved. No doubt. I mean, Courtney is such a tremendous athlete, and, and uh, there was a point in her career where she wanted to play third base for this team and she wanted to play in the outfield and she wanted to be an everyday player so she she has a lot of physical ability and is a very heady pitcher and knows the game well to where she won't get you in trouble trying to do too much but is still so athletic that she can make some of the more spectacular plays so i thought it was a well-deserved honor for her and uh you know both defensively and what she can do in the circle, it's going to be a really big factor next year for Nebraska. And then she followed it up by saying she's coming back for another year, going to take advantage yeah. of that COVID year. That's really big, isn't it? No question about it. I mean, when you look at the Husker pitching staff, I mean, that was the really big question. You lose Olivia Farrell, uh, and then with Wallace hanging in the balance, not to say Kaylin Kinney didn't show some promise this year, but you don't want to lose both your horses, both your leaders, both those seniors who, who were so important in setting the tone for this team and this program. So to get her back for another year in the circle to provide the competitive fight uh, that she does, never mind pitching as well as she does, really important and really helpful and, and critical in bringing this team along. Well, the pitching was added to last week with the announcement of Sarah Harness coming from Southern Illinois. Olivia Farrell has exhausted the eligibility, as you just pointed out. So you replace her with Sarah, who has had a tremendous career in the Missouri Valley. That's got to excite you. Yes, it does. She, she profiles as somebody who can be uh, a lead pitcher for this team. I mean, the, her 2021 season, all Missouri Valley, ERA of 177, pitched him to a MoVal tournament championship and in NCAA regionals. So not only has she had regular su uh, season success at a MoVal school and a whole lot of it, but then she got him into a regional. So she's pitched on that big stage. And I think just 
everything changes when you get to regionals and so she's got important experience she's had some success you know you might look at her numbers this year and be a little concerned my understanding is she was working through an injury uh, that that hampered her this year uh, and as a result uh, didn't produce at the level at which she hoped but I, I feel like she'll be full go by next February and, and I think we'll see a pitcher a lot closer to the one that threw uh, 170 ERA in the Mo Val and was so dominant and should be somebody who helps Nebraska compete and really you know she she is good enough to be a co-ace with Courtney Wallace to where there shouldn't be a whole lot of drop off between her and Olivia Farrell and you know we, we talk about live being done in terms of eligibility she's still going to be around the program as a graduate assistant which I think is going to be really helpful uh, in terms of setting the tone and kind of showing the way uh, but I, I think Sarah Harness is is well equipped to take the torch from Olivia and turn in a couple good years for the Huskers. Yeah no doubt love this good momentum keep it rolling they'll be back and doing fall ball before we, we know it. Well, I, I, you probably aren't following the cup finals because your Blackhawks are long done. No. Uh, their, their laundry has been done for two months, but uh, the <laughs> Lightning down 2-0, are you surprised by that? A little bit, a little bit. Uh, you know, the other part of it is, you think about it, Tampa Bay has played in the finals the last two years. They're a team that's getting a little long in the tooth. Uh, you wonder how much losing that first game in overtime uh, really changed the momentum of that series to where uh, Tampa came out uh, Saturday night and just looked like they were in quicksand. This has been an avalanche team that's been kind of knocking on the door. It has been a team that people have been talking about uh, as a possible Stanley Cup contender, but they just haven't been able to break through to, to get even to the finals, let alone to win it. But now that they're here, it seems like they've got all the momentum, all the energy. They're such an exciting team to watch. I mean, these playoffs, uh, and, and I must admit my hockey fandom is a little more casual than baseball or football, but man, you flip on these playoffs, especially with the Avalanche involved, because they are such a high-scoring athletic team, and you're you're seeing the the goal lights light up pretty quickly. It's been an exciting series, an exciting playoff thus far, and uh, right now it looks like it's a changing of the guard in the NHL. Yeah, it's been great. The, the cut playoffs have been fantastic. Well, we pulled you away from the Ole Miss Arkansas game for long enough. You're going to let you get back inside Charles Schwab Field. Are you calling it the Chuck? Do you have a nickname for this new Ooh. name for the ballpark yet, or what? Uh, I do like the Chuck. Uh, I was perusing the many souvenir stands around the ballpark uh, before the Stanford-Auburn game, and I saw a T-shirt that said the Chuck, and it had a picture of the ballpark, as you, as you would naturally expect. But the twist was, no Charles Schwab was not in front of it, but Chuck Norris. And, and so if you can associate a building uh, of this importance with Chuck Norris, <laughs> you're generally doing pretty well. So, yeah, I'll go with the Chuck. I like the Chuck. Uh, it's interesting that this place has played a little more evenly this year. It, it's just odd how, how the ebbs and flows go in terms of equipment and just kind of overall where the strength of college baseball is. But the Chuck feels good. It, it's a little informal. It's a little more friendly. It's five letters like the Blatt. What more do you need? Yeah, very good. Are you rooting for a particular school, or are you just uh, just kicking back and being a fan? Well, we got Texas knocked out of there, so that's a start. That's a good thing. Uh, I would say I'm kind of pulling for Arkansas just because of Dave Van Horn. Uh, I, I was thinking about this as I was walking out of the ballpark uh, uh, for that uh, Auburn-Stanford game. Dave Van Horn's success obviously set up Nebraska baseball. That's just kind of kind of uh, obvious. But his success also set the stage for Nebraska softball. I, the Huskers did go to a women's series before Van Horn got Nebraska baseball to a men's series. The Husker softball team went in 98. But I think it's pretty unlikely that Boland Stadium or its equivalent happens if Nebraska baseball is never successful because uh, because when they built the baseball stadium, they had to build a, a, an equivalent softball stadium with it. 
and, and thus Bowen Stadium was born. So uh, I think Nebraska softball owes a little debt of gratitude to Dave Van Horn and, and Husker baseball for what they were able to build. And I've just got such respect for Coach Van Horn and, and what he did here at Nebraska. And, and, and the other part is, quite frankly, there's not another team that kind of grabs me in that same way. There's not an underdog. There's not a fun story like that. Like I said, we got Texas knocked out, so that makes the world a better place. So uh, I, I've been doing the hog call in my living room. I might, I might bust a hog call out or two tonight. All right, then a boy. I was hoping ECU was going to make it. That was going to be my team, but Texas spoiled that for all of us. Nate, we appreciate it. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Get back in there and get your hog call rolled up. Uh, woo! Big suey. I nice. a little better than Dana Altman. We'll see it, Greg. That a boy. Nate Roar up in Omaha joining us on our Sports Highly Hotline. Brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brand, 16 convenient location. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance by online at woodhouse.com. Phone lines, text lines back open 402 413 2400. We're back with more of the show coming up. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. Are we still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Hum. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. The 2022 Nebraska football season is right around the corner, and we need you in Memorial Stadium this fall. A customizable Husker football three-game mini plan is on sale now for only $180. To purchase your 2022 Husker football three-game mini plan today, or for more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 402-472-3111. Go Big Red. Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. The Nebraska FFA is growing leaders and building communities. Together, we are strengthening agriculture. The Nebraska FFA Foundation believes in our future leaders and the communities they serve. We believe in the future of agriculture. Join us in the I Believe in the Future of Ag campaign. Learn more at neffafoundation.org. Brought to you by Pinnacle Bank, the way banking should be, member FDIC. And Farmers Cooperative, standing with those who grow. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Hey Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from this past season of Nebraska Athletics. Joining us on next week's episode, Executive Associate Athletic Director, Dr. Lawrence Chatters, Nebraska softball pitcher, Courtney Wallace, ESPN writer, Adam Rittenberg, Huskers men's gymnast, Khalil Jackson, and Nebraska volleyball libero, Lexi Rodriguez. Tune in to your local affiliate or at huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hey Huskers fans, 
This Friday, join us for another Encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from this past season of Nebraska Athletics. Joining us on next week's episode, Executive Associate Athletic Director, Dr. Lawrence Chatters, Nebraska softball pitcher, Courtney Wallace, ESPN writer, Adam Rittenberg, Huskers men's gymnast, Khalil Jackson, and Nebraska volleyball libero, Lexi Rodriguez. Tune in to your local affiliate or at huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. They say if you listen hard enough, you can hear the corn grow. It's true. When you're out in the field, you understand its challenges and what it needs to thrive. Channel Seedsmen bring insights from the field to our team of bear plant breeders. Their knowledge inspires our product development. From your best ground to your most challenging conditions, our products are designed to perform in your fields. Visit ChannelListens.com to see our latest innovations. Always read and follow IRM where applicable. Grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It's sponsored by Acres. They're the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp back with you on a Monday night. Thanks to Nate Roar for joining us. And his uh, woo pig suey call is not helping right now as the Razorbacks trail 6-3 to three in the fourth inning. They do have a man on with a man out. I'm sure Nate's back in his seat by now. And maybe he's... Uh, exercising the call that he's been working on. It's kind of painful to hear Nate Roar do a whoop pig suey call. I'm a little disturbed by that. Hey, buckle up, put the phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We, we've been telling you about this three-game Husker football mini plan that is available for $180 for a ticket. You get to pick a game from three groups, September, either the North Dakota game or the Georgia Southern game. In October, pick either Illinois or Indiana. And in November, pick either Minnesota or Wisconsin. You get to pick which games work maybe best for you one of those months. Seating located in the north and south end zones. You go online to do this. It's huskers.com slash tickets. That, uh, you can go on there. It's pretty easy to do, pretty easy to navigate that and go put your plan together. They're going to offer this up to the end of June, so you get about 10 days left to do that to put your plan together for the upcoming Husker football season. 68 days away from... The kickoff with the Huskers over in Ireland. So then add seven, 75 days for the home opener against North Dakota. So that's how quickly this is coming up on us. And, and we all know you get past the 4th of July and boom, it just flies and gets right into football season. We'll all be ready for that to get going. The Avs have scored. They lead Tampa 1-0 in Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Finals tonight. Mentioned that Arkansas trailing Ole Miss 6-3. They're in the bottom of the fourth with a runner on and one out as we check out some of the scores that are going on around tonight here in, uh, in the world of sports. What a U.S. Open. Matt, Fitz, Matt Fitzgerald, the golfer from... Great Britain, who went to Northwestern University, is where he prepped. So there's another Big Ten winner of the U.S. Open. I thought it was a terrific tournament over the weekend. I thought great action down the stretch. Matt Fitzpatrick wins it by a shot over Scott Scheffler, who won the Masters and is the number one ranked player in the world. And Will Salatorius, who now has finished runner-up a couple of times at the Majors, uh, but great drama always is. Love the majors. I thought the course was terrific. It's the Country Club right outside of Boston. It's one of the original five courses in the United States. It was the, the story of the, the movie, The Greatest Game Ever Played, the, the great uh, story about the golfer uh, we met, who was a young man who came on and beat the pros and kind of really got American golf going back in the early 1900s. That was held at that course but that was some fun drama to watch over the weekend but uh, three of the majors now for golf in the books the open championship coming up in july it'll be at the famed course st andrews 
over in Europe. Need to step aside, get a break in. If when we come back, we'll have everybody's weekend winners. Looking forward to jumping into that. That's coming up next. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F Series, America's best selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few, they're built for America. Ford F Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Hey Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from this past season of Nebraska Athletics. Joining us on next week's episode, Executive Associate Athletic Director, Dr. Lawrence Shatters, Nebraska softball pitcher, Courtney Wallace, ESPN writer, Adam Rittenberg, Huskers men's gymnast, Khalil Jackson, and Nebraska volleyball libero, Lexi Rodriguez. Tune in to your local affiliate or at huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. See Shelter Agent Brent Custer in Broken Bow and ask about Shelter's competitive rates. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. It's the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Patrick from North Platte on our text line wants to know, how do I get these home tickets for the three games? Patrick, it's online. you got to pull up your web browser, huskers.com slash tickets. That's the way to go at Go do that, and then you'll mix and match and put your plan together. So huskers.com slash tickets for your chance to put together your mini plan for Husker football coming up in, what, 70 days, as I said, for the opening, or 68 days for the opener, 75 days for the home opener with North Dakota coming here for a game. Could be a little toasty that Labor Day weekend in just a, a short time. Time for our winners and winners of the weekend. Weekend winners. Tim, what do you have for us? Well, I've been ranting and raving about them to everyone who will listen. Um, and since we last spoke, uh, uh, he had a goal disallowed in the game that's going on right now between the... We do have a tie now. Well, Tampa just tied it, so we'll see. Maybe if he helped give up this goal, maybe <laughs> I'll take him off. But Oh, no, no. He, uh, he's done enough. Valerie Nichuskin is a player for the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, he's a pending free agent, and he is making himself some money. Um, he had a goal in the game that was rightfully overturned tonight, so just a few minutes ago. Uh, but he has been unbelievable in the postseason. He's 27, prime of his career. 
Um, in the first two games against Tampa, uh, keep in mind, it's hard to get one point in a game in hockey. He had two points in each, two goals uh, in that Saturday blowout, and uh, very nearly had a goal tonight. So he's going to make some money. I'm calling him my weekend winner. He's going to be uh, making a lot more money than anyone thought. This is a guy who, who his contract was bought out by his first team in the NHL in Dallas, and uh, a couple years later is now one of the better players in the league. So. You and I are on the same page. We both want the Avs to win. Yes. But I want a good series, so I yes. don't want a sweep. So that's why I'm okay if I think if Tampa exactly. wins tonight. I agree. I agree. I just want a good series. That's, yeah. <laughs> these are the two best teams. You want yep. it to live up to that. You know, and the NBA Finals was okay. It went six. Some of the games weren't real close, but at least it went six. But, you know, and I'd be okay with this goes six and the Avs win in six. It'd be fun to, for them to win it on home ice. Yeah. But that won't happen if it's game six. Right. It would be in Tampa. Right. So yep. it's got to happen in five or seven. Yep. So, and it could. But, yeah, 1-1. One, one, they're getting deep into the first period in that. They're going to the fifth up in Omaha now. Still 6-3 Ole Miss for the lead in Arkansas. Winner of that game has a kind of a stranglehold on that bracket, just like Oklahoma does on their side going up 2-0. Okay, my winner is a, a familiar name to a lot of people that have listened to this show for years and years and years, and that is Jeff Colhane, the former host of Sports Nightly, has been for the last six years the voice of the Bison up in North Dakota State. He left us in 20. 13 to go to West Virginia where he went and called women's basketball and did their football pre and post game show. Jeff has been hired as the new voice of the Florida State Seminoles. So he takes over for the legendary Gene Deckerhoff who for years has done the Seminoles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. How he has pulled that off I do not know but so happy for Jeff Colhane and his wife Sarah. They have a son Alexander. They have another baby on the way in a couple of weeks. Uh, so Jeff is moving to Tallahassee in a couple of weeks. He'll take over for the Florida State Seminoles. Jeff was with the Oscars Network from 07 to 2013 did baseball with uh, myself and Lane Grindle. And, uh, boy, how about that? you got Lane Grindle now, the voice of the Milwaukee Brewers, and now you have Jeff Colhane, the voice of Florida State. So very, very happy for Jeff Colhane. Good friend. Uh, worked here. A lot of people remember Jeff when he hosted this show for a couple of years after Lane uh, stepped away and did just straight sales work for us for a couple of years. But so happy for Jeff to be uh, – now the Florida State Seminoles. I've never been a big Seminoles fan, but I might have to root a little bit for FSU as uh, he takes over that position here in a couple of weeks. All right, tomorrow night on the program, really fascinating interview tomorrow night with Jay Terry, who is Nebraska's associate athletic director in charge of uh, the equipment room for Husker football. These guys work hours upon hours upon hours. And they have a huge challenge ahead of them is getting ready to take all this gear to Dublin, Ireland for that game. Looking forward to having Jay on the program tomorrow night. Brody Belt will be here. We'll talk to the Husker walk-on wide receiver slash running back slash special teams guy. Looking forward to having Brody talking about his career, which is kind of winding down. He's been a walk-on for a couple years into the program. But looking forward to talking to Brody tomorrow night on the program as well. We'll have all the day's headlines, the latest scores from the College World Series, getting closer to the NBA draft, which comes up on Thursday. Hoping for great news for Bryce McGowan. Hopefully he uh, gets the, the team and the position that he wants to be picked in. So we'll continue to monitor that as well. Crypto King also congratulating Jeff in our chat room here tonight. Buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Great show tonight. Thanks to Matt for coming by. Been a couple months since we've had Matt on the program. And Nate Rohr pulled him out of the ball game. Maybe you can get back in there and give the Razorback some good luck. So now he's back in his seat at uh, Charles Schwab Field. Be great to talk some Husker softball with Nate on the show tonight. Thanks to Tim, to Cole, to Andrew, to Mike, to all of you for being a part of this program tonight. Enjoy yourself tonight. Back with another edition, another show coming your way tomorrow. Good night. up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There is no place like Nebraska and there's no place that treats you like home like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska. Providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane. Servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics.
Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. As the Huskers head to the seventh inning stretch, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS he screams and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call or visit SOSHVAC.com today. SOS to the rescue. 